Ah, oh, frig. Oh, uh, tow wrecker's done a bit more work, as you can tell. Got this door in, uh, just in rattle can primer for right now. Um, it's, uh, you know, just to keep it from flash rusting, basically. We've got uh, rust fixed in hood. We go up here, and this is comb combination collision damage and rust. And this is just rounded crap. It's uh, it's so hard to do anything with this where it's got a round in it covering or a sheesh. Let's try to talk again. It's uh, got a rounded mold line to it. It's it's rounded, and it's. It's so hard to deal with as far as trying to put metal back in it. Um, I put some metal under back in this against the back substructure just to give it something to bite to to tie this upper and this lower together. And I put um, fiberglass short strand on top of that. Mind you, I didn't use the metal really to fill the hole. I used it to fix the structure because it was flimsy as I'll get out. But as you can tell, it's it's solid now. And well. Not quite, but it's getting there. It's it's attached, shall we say that. Just roughed in, you know, no big deal. Took down some rust spots. Got the first coat of filler in these. This is a pack here. Just packed it in, cut it up to bad and packed it in, no biggie. Same thing here and right here. That's a little closer to being done. Got a little, little filler throat on that dent, nothing big. Just hadn't really, hadn't really got that far yet. This corner of this fender, uh, this is collision. Collision before I got it, and then of course my dumb hind end wrecked it again, uh, I don't know, 15 years ago, and run it through a fence, pick some of that off there. A little sloppy, but anyway, like I said, that's that's all just roughed out, you know, 40 grit, just kind of shaped it. Um, it's got, uh, fender's actually got some uh, holes in it underneath that, where it's actually tore. That's actually been, uh, took a MIG, spotted it up, and uh, took a um, short strand fiberglass once again, filled it, and then on top of that, I've laid just some regular old, uh, regular old Mugu right there, you know, just, yeah. Don't that look yummy? You wanna buy it? Anyway, that's a 12, 13 year old body filler. What the hell, you right? As you can tell, we've been making some dust before motors covered over, but whatever. But anyway, the main undertaking that was the problem was that fender. It was that fender right there and that door, which it's all slick as a ribbon, you know, no big deal. Um, as you can tell, I do so little body work, and it's been so long since I've done any. As you can tell, me and the Bondo, uh, well, half of that can's laying there on the ground and uh, about two ounces of it's on the truck no big deal we got some spots over here that need attention uh, there's some little things down this hood that's why down that edge line stuff that's why that's all ground down to shiny metal i've got some problems i gotta fix no big deal just took it down i'd rather put filler on uh, bare metal got some problems here in this fender got some rust holes some rot right there just pinholes, but I've ground them to where and poked at them. That's, that's the extent of it. It ain't no big deal. Got a place in the bottom of this door. It's been fixed before. It's real small. You know, it's that old body work right there. It actually cracked. These rocker panels, I've said before in some of these other videos, and Zoom's not my friend, but, you know, got some crackage going on and stuff. They're made of, they're made of uh, mar glass. No big deal. And the back of this door, it's got just a hair of, hair of rust in it. Zoom is really not my friend. You can see right there in the corner edge of it. It's it's not a lot, but it does have a place in it. And it had cracked on top, you know, and done that spider web cracking, so we ground that out. There's a spot on the back of the cab, the cab corner, it's got a rust hole. You can't see it, but anyway, I got it ground out. So basically this side of the truck right here is gonna go real quick. This side of the truck will be real simple because I don't have to fight with a dang fender on this side, you know. Uh, as you can tell this fender how they fit granted these trucks never fit worth a crap in the first place See it's higher than the darn filler panel. It's got a you know a decent gap See, this is two pieces right here. Well on this side. I've actually had to Massage this whole fender just to get the gap the way I've got it but um, As you can tell I've already started see that uh, 
filler that's back in there. I hadn't really done it yet, but I'm going to fill that whole crack in with filler. Not completely, but I'm going to put filler in it just to seal it. Literally. I'm going to seal it up with filler, and I'm going to take my 80 grit, just a piece of 80 grit DA paper by hand, and put my line back in it. You know, that's just like an old guy that used to do body work told me a, told me a story one time. He told me that sometimes to fix things, you have to bondo them shut. That's what he always told me. Well, as you see this line right here. Looks pretty darn good, don't it? Well, considering the fender and the door mismatched by about a quarter of an inch, this is level. This is flat. That is perfect. Um, got one little place in it, and you probably see right down there at the bottom that's not exactly right. And, well, we're not going to fool with it. It's, it is how it is. And there's a reason for that. It has to do with the metal patch I put in there. I can grind it back and everything, but I can just tell you right now, from the naked eye, that's never going to be seen. I ain't worried about it. This truck's not going to be perfect. It, it really, it ain't. It ain't going to be perfect. But I am focused. Yeah. Hey, nice hubcap, right? Got Bondo dust dripping out of my nose. This thing just does not like this primer, I'm telling you. But this fender has been patched about here. It's been patched across years ago. Well, actually, it's been patched more like that years ago. Well, it was uh, patched again by me, like right through here. And, uh, well, I know you just can't see crap of what I'm trying to tell you. You might see them on the lines. Anyway, it's got a patch in it that's put from there down. It's got a patch in it that I put in it from there down. And um, needless to say, it's overlapped three darn times. So to get this thing to come out like it needed to come out, well, that's what I had to do. And you just can't see crap when I just shine it at it, shine the camera at it. It's, it really is just primer. It just it has a fit with it up close. But I don't guess I blame it. It has absolutely nothing to focus on. There's a little bit of issues back there in that door. These rocker panels, you know, um, we'll use Pisser's term here, hack and pack, okay? Well, we hacked out the rust. We packed, good Lord, for such a high dollar camera, it's having issues. <laughs> And we packed that. That's Dynaglass. It's I shot some primer over it. Just basically, primer makes a good guide you so you can just see how screwed up it is. And you know, I've got it filled in. I've got it smooth, but it's by no means. Fred, come back here. No means paint ready. You see this crack right here? This is for me doing some massaging work on the fender. This crack right here is not actually going to be a crack when I get done. This is going to have a body line. <laughs> that it's supposed to have, which I did not put back in it the last time I fixed it. I'm going to take some 80 grit and hold it by hand and I'm going to put my line in it. You know, it's just simpler to get this stuff to made up if you just, as Runt used to say, bondo it shut. So I figured out that it makes some pretty good looking body work if you bondo the darn thing shut. And I did. I literally I took, my, took my bondo spreader and I actually bondoed this door and this fender together. Pretty as please. Bondo it together. And uh, granted, this stuff, it ain't, I say a quarter of an inch. It really ain't a quarter of an inch thick. It's probably more like an eighth. It is pretty thick, but it's put in right, so it'll stay. And I actually use fiberglass, short strand fiberglass for the first coat, which is pretty darn tough shit. And then I put just a regular old filler over top of it, just lightweight filler. But um, I actually come back with my cutoff tool, and I went down this. Cause see, I can still see at the top where my door gap was, and I just uh, buzzed the darn thing out. Just buzzed me a line down it, and I used it as a grinder, just ground it out. No big deals, you know. It all worked out good. But anyway, that's where we stand. The hardest rust it's going to be to fix, even though it's not so bad. Let me see if I can get here. See that? It's just nasty, okay? It's just nasty. It's not soft. Thank goodness. This is not soft. Just all nasty looking. And it's it's so hard to get in there to fix this. And as you can tell, I used just plain Jane crappy old glazing putty the last time that I fixed this. And that shit just ain't good for nothing. I wouldn't uh I wouldn't throw that at my worst enemy, but you know, we didn't know that at the time. And as you can tell, it's it's it holds up through time pretty damn good because it's still on my freaking rubber gasket. But under paint. It don't hold up for shit, but that's how we go. Anyway, got this fixed. 
I'm really not pleased with this. Um, you can see it a little bit there. I mean, granted, it's it's just where it's not. It needs to be sanded. But I've got some darn pinholes, some teeny, teeny, tiny pinholes, and you know that's uh that's in the icing, is what that's in. I mean, I guess I'm gonna have to recoat it and sand it again. But you know what the hell? It's there's not a hole there now, so that's that's progress. That's progress. No holes, progress. This fender in this door makes me happy. It looks good. But anyway, see y'all.